everybody. Welcome back to Art Time Today. I'm Cheryl Smith and I'm going to be your art teacher today while we learn how to draw this little monkey. A little fun cartoon monkey that we'll put in a jungle painting that we'll also do very soon. I think you're going to have fun today. Remember, this is a practice day. Find your computer paper or your manila drawing paper or a scrap paper of some kind. Because if this is the first time you've ever made a monkey, he might look a little wonky while you're drawing it. I mean, it took me a while to kind of learn how I wanted my little monkey to look. I even looked up YouTube videos, how to draw a monkey. And that helped me see so many different ideas on how to make a monkey. And besides that, there are hundreds, probably thousands of different species of monkeys in the jungle. So they're going to all look different. Practice to get the monkey that you really love. That sounds so cute. So what we're going to do is we're going to be uh, creating a monkey inside a jungle situation. I have this book that I know that I've shared with you before called Who is the Beast by Keith Baker. He is an author illustrator and I just love the jungles that he created and the animals that he has designed inside this book. The thing I like the best about it is it doesn't look like photographs of a jungle. It looks like drawings. And it looks like drawings because he has added shapes and repeated designs and patterns on the leaves and on the flowers. He's been very creative and I hope to, that you will be too when we start and get ready to do our jungle picture. And I know I've showed this to you before. This is a painting done by Henri Rousseau, a French painter. And in this one too, lots of greenery. But here are the monkeys. There are about three or four monkeys that he has in here. They're all different, different species. This one's a little gray one. And these are brown ones. And there's even one down low in the bushes uh, ha hanging out. But we're going to be drawing our monkeys hanging from a branch today. Look up Henri Rousseau uh, in your, on a Google search and you're going to see some pretty cool jungle drawings. Always have mom or dad or one of your uh, grown-ups around when you are doing a uh, search online. It's very important to do that. So let's grab our pencils and markers and crayons or whatever it is that you are going to draw with today and we'll get started. I have my manila drawing paper up here today. It's gonna to be a practice. Once I get my monkey the way I like him to look, I'm gonna put it on the larger white paper that I'll do my jungle on. So let's get going here. I'm gonna start out with the eyes. Mr. Fred, are you here between here and here with me today? That is fantastic. Well, I appreciate that so much. So I'm going to start out with my two dots for the eyes. I'm going to make them kind of near the middle of the page. Just like that. Can you see those in there? I know it's kind of hard because they're kind of tiny. And then what I'm going to do right below that is I'm going to make a little curved line that looks like a sad face line. This is actually going to be the nose, your monkey's nose. A little sad face line and under that it looks like the number 11. Two straight lines. Every monkey has a different kind of nose. Just like humans all have different noses. Different species of monkeys have very different noses. But this guy, I just made it very simple. Little, two little lines and a sad face line. Now, let's work on the uh, smile and the bump around his eyes. So here we go. First, I'm going to do the little M over the top of the eyes. And I'm going to start about where the nose is. And I'm going to go bump 
and make it hook right in between his eyes and then another little bump around. And I know I keep calling this a him. You might be making a girl monkey and that is fine too. We're just making monkeys today. And then let's do this fun little grin thing here. So I'm going to start at the bottom of this little M. It kind of almost looks like if I kept going down, it would almost be a heart. See, if I came down on both sides, boop, it would make it look like a heart. That's cute. Okay, here we go. I'm going to make a little bump out and around and back in. <laughs> And I'm going to tell you something that looks like a frog to me right now. It looks like a big mouth frog. We'll see if we can actually turn it into looking like a monkey by the time we're finished. We'll see. So let's put a smile on there. I'm going to make a little curved line on each side for the grin and then a smile right in the middle. When we do the head, we're going to come up around from where we made that little smile box. And we're going to make a little round line that comes right around the outside to make the head of that monkey. Okay. Next, a couple of big ears on the sides down here, but kind of between his, where his eye and nose are. Some little, some big ears on the sides. Ha! That looks like a monkey now. Next, we're going to make the arm that's going up to hang onto that branch up over the head. So... When you're, if you were pretending to hold on to a branch, pretend this is my branch, and I'm gripping it and holding on, you see the fronts of my four fingers, and then usually the thumb will be hanging on too, just like that around the branch. So we're going to be drawing, before we draw the branch, we're going to draw the knuckles on the finger. So this is how it'll look. So let's, let's draw the arm. I'm going to start right under his chin and make a curved line that kind of swoops up over his head. And then I'm going to make another curved line that starts kind of close to that first line. And we're going to come out and come back down. It gets a little thicker down at the end because see how my arm is skinny at the top and it gets thicker at the bottom? That's what we're trying to do right now. Skinnier at the top, thicker at the bottom. Now we're going to put on the knuckles. So I'm going to do four. One, two, three. And then the last one I'm going to make, well, as it should be on the other side. If you're doing it like this, the smallest one would be on the outside. So see if you still can do that because I just did it backwards. I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to keep on going. But if you're doing it, make your little skinny one over on the other, on the other side, not the side that I did. So let's keep going. Um, and then I'm going to draw the branch. I'm going to draw the branch a little bit below his knuckles. And I'm going to make the branch come across. And remember, I've told you the branch gets skinnier and skinnier as it goes farther away from the trunk of the tree. And that's where the leaves are usually more on the outside than they are up near the trunk of the tree. You can see that by running outside and looking at some of your trees. The leaves are mostly toward the ends. Not everyone, but mostly. All right, let's go down and make this curved line. We're going to do the side of the body down to the leg. You want to kind of look at the monkey's body and see about how big you want to do that. And I want to try to make sure I can fit him here. So I'm going to make the body come down to about here. So here I go with the, the arm muscle. I'm going to come across the side. Now I'm on the leg and then I'm going to bend it back up because he's going to be kicking out like that. Let's make a second line that's going to come across. I'm going to start kind of near the first one down around his knee, up and over, and then make another knee. And then here we go on this side, starting under his chin. We're going to come down along like it's his body, down to now we're on his leg. Get kind of close and then bring it back up like he's bending his knee up there. And he looks very lopsided right now, doesn't he? 
So I'm going to need to add an arm right here. <laughs> I made his arm behind his back where you can't see his other hand. You can make the other arm hanging from the branch if you want two arms up anyway, or you can make one arm flying out. It's up to you. Remember, this is your drawing. And we kind of need some feet here on the end, don't we? So I'm going to do a little zigzag line at the end of each of those legs. That's kind of where he's really furry, and it turns into not quite as furry. And I'm going to add a foot big toe and then put four three or four little toes down there and then same thing i've kind of run out of space but i'll just kind of stick that on the end there to make him look like his feet are kind of hanging out i also want to put a tail on this guy i think a tail is important because we know that monkeys use their tails a lot to swing from branch to branch so i'm going to do a tail i'm going to start on the side of his body and I'm going to make a tail that's kind of skinny but long so that that tail can help him climb if he needs to. And then I'm going to make a little circle on his tummy. Some, some uh, monkeys have skin on their bellies. And so I'm going to make a circle on their belly. And that is my monkey. That's where I'm, um, I'm calling it a day on the monkey. You can add lots of leaves and things around it um, just to improve your drawing. And we know this is a practice drawing, but it's never a bad idea to practice how your leaves are going to look if you're going to want to make a real fancy jungle page later. So now you would be to the coloring in stage. You can color it however you want to. I'm going to color mine with a little bit of brown, but I'm going to make it so it's not completely smooth texture. Monkeys have a lot of fur, and so they're going to be a little bit furry when you color it in. It doesn't have to be a smooth, smooth crayon to color it all perfect. Let, let it be furry. Let the fur, and I'm kind of trying to color it the way the fur would grow. Like the fur is going to grow down this way mostly. And that's how you're going to want to color it. The face of your monkey is usually a skin tone of some kind. Monkeys have all different kinds of skin tones. But when you color this guy in, color it so that it's showing the way the fur goes. And it's fine with me if you want a pink monkey or a purple monkey. That's kind of fun too. So I'm making mine look more realistic, but he surely has a cartoon characteristic. He's kind of an exaggerated little guy. So I think that I'm about finished on this one. I hope you had fun drawing uh, your little monkeys and practicing drawing a jungle because uh, soon we're going to be doing a painting of a jungle. For that, you're going to want some paint, a bowl, paintbrush, and always some paper hanging around. So watch YouTube in the next few days for the next one about drawing uh, and painting jungles. With all that said, I hope you had fun drawing your little monkey today. I look forward to seeing you next time. Remember, always, always make time for art time today. See you next time. Bye-bye.